Hey guys, welcome to my first proper video for my uh, my channel. Uh, I'm going to show you the steps and process I went through to make this neon effect um, large letter sign for my brother-in-law's 50th birthday. Um, at the end of the video, if you like it, give me a thumbs up um, and subscribe below. Hope you enjoy. So first off, um, this is called keying in. Some of you may know this process anyway, but basically if you're going to spray anything, metal, plastic, anything like that, you want to key in the surface first. So basically all I've done is go over it with a um, scotch brite pad. No water, no rubbing compound, nothing at all. Uh, just gone over it to rough the surface up, uh, rough the, the old paint work up just to key it in so that the new paint uh, has something to bite onto. Uh, as you can see, I'm doing quite a thorough job to go over it because I want to make sure every, every last bit is done properly so after that next process was to wash it down because of the grime and dirt and dust that you're going to create through keying it in and just just the general grime and dirt and dust this sign is accumulated by being on the, the wall of the factory so just with um some washing up liquid just went over it wet sponge cleaned it uh, I, I'm blowing out now with the airline just to make sure that all the water and all the little gaps, nooks and crannies comes out and it doesn't drip out later on in the process when, when I need to spray the, the sign. So now I'm going over with a, a heat gun. It is that cold outside that um, the paint the paint would just not take to it unless I went over it with a heat gun. Um, so probably spent about five minutes doing this process just to get the metal sign back up to a reasonable temperature for the paint to take. So I started off cautiously when I started spraying. I thought I'd spray a few little lines on each bit just to make sure that the paint's sitting on there okay. And as obviously as you can see, it was. So I carried on spraying the whole uh, sign. And um, it coated it quite well. So then I had to go over it with the air gun again just to um, make sure that it dried properly. I think this is after the third and final coat actually. It cured really well. I was really happy with the final result. Um, definitely worth the effort of heating it up. So there you go. There's the final. There's a final finish on it. It's really nice and shiny. It, it feels like a nice thick coating, um, that, which shows that the preparation's gone really well. So here's the sign now on the next stage, on the next day, it's uh, masked up with this yellow tape. So obviously I'm heating it up again now with the heat gun just to get it to uh, a reasonable temperature for, for prepping for spraying. Uh, with this masking tape, I couldn't get it the width I actually wanted. I wanted 12 mil, I could only get 24 mil. So I just have to cut it down to the, to the size later on in the video, you'll see that anyway. So um, here's, here's with the orange paint that uh, I'm using now. This is uh, a Ford electric orange. And it, again, because I heated it up, it went on really well. Have no problems with it whatsoever. So that so as again, to the previous process, it's cold outside, so it's spraying, heating, spraying, heating, spraying, heating. Uh, this is the second coat going on about 15 minutes after I've done the previous coat. As you can see, I've got my hands in my pocket because it, it, my hands were that cold outside. I was aiming to get in all the corners and lines of the mask in. Then it was time to warm up and have some downtime with a nice cup of tea. Back on with the third coat then. Um, and uh, much the same as before, I'm making sure now that I'm getting in every part of the, the masking, getting all the little parts of it, just, just so that I get some nice straight lines. This masking is a special cured one, so it, apparently, um, so you don't get any leakage. But we'll see when I take the masking off. So as I mentioned earlier, I couldn't get the masking tape the correct width that I wanted. So um, when I put it on... I overlapped it by uh, a third on each one, so I knew that I would have to cut the middle, uh, the middle part out because that would be the correct width that I needed. So as you can see, going along with a, a straight edge and a reasonably sharp blade, 
I've gone around and cut out the middle parts of the masking tape. So when I reveal it later on, what you'll see, as you can see now, is the, the orange in the middle is a masking tape that's still left. So then I forgot that it's going to need a hole drilled in it um, for the neon wire to come through. So I thought now as it's still messed up and everything's dry, this is the best time to do it now. Because uh, if I mark anything from when I go over it to black paint, it will cover things up. So the orange is all masked up, now it's time for the black. Uh, the black went on quite well. Again, had to heat it up uh, in, in, in between. Um, I know the, the black looks a little bit grey there in places, but that, that's just the way that the light is. Um, so I only went over with two coats of black paint because it covered it really well. And I was really happy that I didn't think it was uh, needing a, a, a third coat. Uh, I did have one little issue with this uh, black paint. Um, and that is it ran ever so slightly in one place where I, I guess I just missed it with the heat gun. But like I said, apart from that, it went on really, really well and covered it. So all I did is once the uh, first coat had, had cured, I uh, just went over it some um, wet and dry, flattened it back, and then gave it another coat of paint. I think that was the part there, that last part. So after struggling outside in the cold for the last few days, I've actually come up with uh, this idea. It's a heat lamp that I used to use for um, ducklings when uh, I used to hatch them. Um, it's on a little uh, step stool um, to sign and obviously the heat lamp's giving it heat and it's heating up and to the touch it's actually quite warm now which is important because outside I, I did struggle a little bit uh, with the cold um, with the paint so at least now I can warm the sign up I'm out of the cold I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier so we all explained what uh, what the light was about I, I forgot to say that I'm now lacquering the the sign uh, this again, this is Halford stuff. It's just uh, Halford's clear lacquer. I've gone over and I will go over it in two coats. Although looking at it now, it looks like it's gone gone on very stripey. That wasn't the case at all. Again, it must just be the way that the the light is uh, portrayed for the camera. Now uh, th this was quite a fiddly part. It was trying to thread the neon light itself through the the pre drilled hole. I did draw another hole. Um, on the side of the of the down part of the M where the uh, control could go. So I've already done part of the sign um, with my with my head in the way, so I uh, ignored that bit uh, and just moved on to this. So I'm going around with a hot melt glue gun and just sticking on the, the neon sign along the uh, outside white trim, well the middle white trim uh, as it actually is, to keep the neon wire taut and look neat. So here we are, here's the finished product. Um, as you've seen it earlier, that's, this is what it looks like in the light. Really happy with it. For a man cave sign, my first attempt, really chuffed. Only thing is, as, as you can see, the middle part of the M on underneath is missing. It's neon light. Um, that is purely because I needed six meters and the longest I could find at the present time was five meters. So something, Maybe I can prove on next time, uh, once my brother-in-law puts his up on his wall, he might want to add to it, I don't know. Um, I'll update that later on in the year. Well, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you uh, like this video. This is my first real attempt at a uh, uh, making video. Um, I'm doing things like this all the time with woodwork, cars, bikes, lots of different things. So if you liked it, please like the video. If you disliked it, by all means dislike it. Um, leave a comment. I love interacting with people, many, as many comps as possible, and uh, please subscribe. So until next time, thanks for watching.